Good afternoon. <laughs> it's Ma, ITMA. It is that man again. Well, well, well. An honest man has no superior. Thus did my mother say to me. Well, they're promising the earth, our two candidates, the for the vacant post, which isn't vacant, of Prime Minister of or head of the Conservative Party, by default, Prime Minister of Britain. It's a farce. They were all in the same cabinet as that man, Mr. Boris Johnson, and yet they wouldn't have him in their cabinet. And he thinks, actually, there was a bit of civility from uh, Starmer, the head of the Labour lot, he did actually wish Boris Johnson fair speed, as it were, in his future. <laughs> Ghastly man, Mr. Boris Johnson. Done no end of harm to an already rock-bottom level of trust in politicians. It's fallen through the floor somewhere now. I mean, he did nothing akin to Mr. Tony Blair. Mr. Tony Blair, as far as I'm concerned, absolutely should have been arrested, tried, convicted for crimes against humanity and all of his cabinet. Much, much worse stuff. Indiscriminate tens of thousands of innocent Iraqi citizens slaughtered on a pack of lies all that weapons of mass destruction, absolute total codswallop. Mr. George W. Bush's poodle, he too, absolutely the same, should be in jail for life for crimes against humanity and genocide. Those are the two former leaders of Britain and America. Where does that leave us? This awful man, Trump, has his followers. He's still, and people, hordes of them in America, are still completely saying it was a stolen election because they believe that liar, manipulator, very wealthy man, Trump. Well... If that is the example set to us by the great and the good, as it were, where does that leave us, the rest of the citoyens, the plebs, us lot, the ordinary peeps? Anyway, my mother said, and I had wonderful parents, <coughs> an honest man has no superior. Your lies will find you out. You know, we do have something called the media, journalists, records, films, tapes, whatevers. They're mouthing off promises galore, which they utterly can't keep. There's something called the world economy, which is tanking. Just tell people the way it is. Economically, the state of the world is going to get worse. And I'm no economist, but I mean, it's so obvious. Given all the goings on, COVID, the war, Ukraine, Russia, which may well escalate into something much, much worse. If ever America and Russia start, stop rattling their sabres and start drawing their swords, basically. And China's with Russia. It's not a game, all this stuff. Well, it is, obviously, to some people. Just a great big game with 
tens of thousands of human beings as the pawns. Actually, I think that is the way it goes. Anyway, on a personal note, I made it all the way to Morrison's on my poor old bad old leg, so I haven't been out of the house for a week on crutches in the house, and I made it, and I did all my own little shopping. The fly in the ointment was I had to buy yeast extract. There was no marmite. No marmite. <laughs> I've tasted, and it just doesn't, it doesn't look the same, it doesn't feel the same, and it doesn't taste the same. <laughs> they invented it during the Second World War. It's packed full of B vitamins which people weren't getting. I like it. Ma might, or she might not, all the bit. <laughs> I mean, I try and be a sort of cheery, happy sort of chap, especially when I'm out and about in the world. But in my films, but these subjects, are life affecting. I can see it. I am a Christian. And I believe that actually is a great sort of help in me seeing the world more clearly as it really is, rather than as the great and the good present it. They've got their axes to grind and their own interests and all the rest of it, whereas I only have my love of God through Christ. And my old monks. <laughs> so, the world's a mess, we know that. Count your blessings and love is the answer. Amen. It's just the one same little riff, it only goes on for about five minutes. I'm waiting for the next round, it comes back with Magnificat. That means, uh, I magnify, glorify the Lord, and then anima <coughs> mea dominus means give my spirit some anima, <laughs> some wolf. <laughs> I wouldn't have been a very good translator of that, would I? <laughs>